Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to introduce the paper published in Nature Physics, written by Im Chek Lee, Im Chik Tech. The title is Trans Epithelial Potential Difference Governs Epithelial Homeostasis by Electromechanics. Basically, he studied about how the electro electricity can affect the epithelial layer, layer, and then they change the direction of the electricity. So, let's start with the background. Basically, he used this microfluidic platform. Upper one is medium, and then this red cell is epithelial cell, fully conferent and PAA gel on the bottom and then glass so using this chip he can apply the electrical field sometimes from up to bottom which means apical to basal so this is called A to B apical to basal and then they can reverse this electrical field to basal to apical this is written B to A. And then, as you know, when epithelial layer consists of skin are there, the inside of the cell underneath of the epithelial layer is positive charge. And then upper one is negative charge. This is original status. So, and then this electrical field direction is minus two plus side. So when they did this minus two plus side electrical field, this can cause disruption of this epithelial layer. I will correct my word. So when you see this electrical field direction, this means plus to minus so when you imagine plus and then this plus can react to the minus of original status and then they can give attraction force and then how the cell layer happen the cell layer can a little bit go upper and then this is called disruption I will show you later why they mentioned like this and then in opposite direction, plus to minus, this can reinforce this original status of electrical field difference. So this plus plus, especially minus minus, because on the bottom side, there is a PA gel, so they cannot move to the downward. But on the upper side, minus minus, they can give this being a side force. So, this being a side force can make compression. So basically, this is called, we can say, compression to the bottom side. And this A to B field is tension force to the off side. And this is original status. So, they use the electrical field direction to, cha to change the direction of the force from tension to compression. So you can imagine this is a one another way how you can apply the compression force especially to the epithelial cell which are fully confronted, confronted. And then he check the morphology of the cell. Let's see. Control means that just without any electrical field. Sorry. Control means without any electrical field. A to B is their little tension. The epithelial layer go upper. And then what happened? This. You can see very strong signal from A to B. While B to A, they have relatively similar signal to the original status. And then what does it mean about this D? When you look at this one, they mentioned that 
yeah this is their actin structure so actin is more enhanced in A to B so this is their quantification this red one is A to B and then when they check the ecadrine ecadrine is cell cell interaction and gap cell cell interactive protein this is this one is ecadrine this brown one this brown one originally they have but when they are tensioned they just appear and then when this B2A apply they are more look a little bit enhanced so this is also quantified like this original status gray color and then decrease under tension force by electricity and then they are more enhanced by compression so bottom line when you change the electrical field direction for confront epithelial cell sometimes they can they, you can induce the tension force which can cause actin filament develop more while it casually decreasing and then this compression force more it can be enhanced so they found this phenomenon using this, this new flat platform the next so this is their understanding they make this kind of images control just upper medium down on the PAHL but when they apply this field to upper to down this plus charge electric field can react to the my originally minus charged epithelial layer or top layer and they can give attraction force to the upper so they are a little bit tension to the upper side why b2a they are more reinforced there minus to plus electrical field so they can give compression force but when they don't have any epithelial cell layer and then they cannot induce any gel deformation why this electrical field only can react when there is a original electrical field difference between medium and PA gel by fully confluent epithelial layer which can mimic our skin but when they have little defect or when there are not no difference between electrical field and then addition electrical field from external force they don't give any external reaction reaction so this is their quantification of gel deformation b2a this compression force are given so gel deformation could be given as minus value which means lower compressed while a to b they can give positive value depending on total current ampere which can change the power of electrical field okay and then while they are making this force to the epithelial layer and then when they look at the single cell level at originally the single cell level is almost rectangular shape but when you imagine they are more tension to the upper side and then you can get this kind of single cell level and then you can imaginary draw this spherical structure and then large r and small r and then from this large r small r you can get this theta degree so from this theta and then you can know how the cell are deformed to the upper side and then you can also detect the height of the single cell so when you look at the single cell 1 2 3 4 and then depending on the pressure difference when they have more pressure difference to the to the bottom side okay what happened cell height decreased to the 1 and then when the pressure is gone cell height can go up and this also can happen in another cell line cell 2 cell 3 cell 4 more forced to the downside can give less height 
So this is their original measurement from this each single cell. Okay? And then they predict this phenomenon using previously developed formula. And then this is their measure total height. And then they predict total height using their original formula. And then they can find out they have very higher correlation of 0.38, very strong. So they found out that electrical field exerts electromechanical stress that governs their shape. It thinks it's a level. So their measured height and their predicted height are quite similar between them. So what kind of uh, formula they use here is a little bit uh, difficult to explain, but they are using this formula, young Laplace law. Simply, this young Laplace law is this formula using upper cell, this cell shape. So this is originally applied for very small diameter of tube. So this small, when you calculate how this small diameter tube, when they uptake some ton water, how how much this water can go up? This capillary force induced height can be predicted by that below law, and then they exactly use same formula for predicting this cell because they consider this cell as one of the fluid. Okay. Simply, I can explain like that. And then, okay, from previously, they apply in a short time, like one hour. And here, they apply this cell more than one hour, like 12 or 24 hours. And then control like this. And A equal to bottom, which means tension force to the upper side. And then BTA is more compressed. It's interesting point is that when you apply this A to B to upper side, what happens? You can see more colony. When you look at the G stack, then this colony formation more formed, which means that well, you can imagine there are two ways. One is that cell can abruptly go upside, but when they just Original cell can go outside. You can see empty space on the bottom, or a little change of the change of the cell area, but they cannot measure this kind of thing. Most of cell area is similar, but you can feel cell number also enhanced in A to B. So, which means this tension force can make more proliferating stage. But when you look at the BTA. Compression, there's not much change compared to control. And then they're using another cell line, M T A R T immortalized cell line. Also, similarly, they can see this kind of more proliferating stage from tension force by electromechanical stress. So this IUDM, IUDM is uh, the IUDM exact meaning is. I will show you. Relative uniformity divisory measure. So how how much divi deviation you can observe from uniformity. Uniformity means this is uniform. But when you see this kind of upper more cell like mountain which is more deviation from uniformity. So when IUDM values enhance, which means they are more proliferating or their cell structure is changed from the uniformity to the heterogeneity. Okay? So when IUDM increase, you can simply imagine cells are proliferating to upper side and then they are packed more. And then after finding this, they want to check maybe we can use this 
previous video, they highlight the lower of the tension force to the upper side. And then you, they can see more cells are packing. Right? But when you apply the down force to the compression force, what will happen? So they make, they want to check which kind of thing happening to the compression force by electrical field. The upper one is original, bottom one is compression force by electrical field, BTA. And you see small dot, which means condensed area, you can, you can see, which means that cells are more condensed. Meanwhile, they are apoptosized, they are dead, because too much compression can cause apoptosis of cell. So this high intensity debris can be from is from the apoptotic cell. This is figure A. If you figure B, actually when I look at the figure B, I can exactly understand why how they how they show the result. But from their uh, line by line explanation, they mention that on the compression force, this cell is more differentiated. Differentiate means that when cells are more proliferating, this is not differentiated epithelial cell. Proliferating is more stem-like status, but when cells are losing their and losing their proliferation, and then they are they are, when they come to the G0 G1 stage, which is more differentiate, more stable cell type. So they find out using this red and green signal and gray staining, like one of the differentiation marker of the epithelial cell, they found out under compression force from B to A electrical field, this epithelial cell is more differentiated, which means they didn't show any proliferation and then their cell cycle come to G0, G1, not G2 or S phase. Okay, and then they quantify the death rate per hour per each area. And then compared to others, B2A, which can give compression force, can give more death rate. Already people mentioned that few hundred Pascal can give the apoptotic cell for the epithelial cell. So along with that finding, also this compression force can induce similar phenomenon. The differentiation rate also enhanced in B2A. And then they imagine, okay, this compression force can give little death rate increase and then differentiation rate increase. And then might be this compression force can be helpful for maintaining the structure of the epithelial cell. So for answering their hypothesis, they use another uh, ECM. Actually, previously, I didn't mention until now, previously they used collagen to attach the epithelial cell to the PAA gel. But from now, from E and F, H and I, uh, sorry, E and F, they use fibronectin, which can give less strong binding to epithelial cell layer and then PAA gel. So, when you see it, this IUDM, this is before and after, IUDM is more detected in fibronectin coated layer. But when they more compressed by electrical field, after means after applying electrical field, this IUDM is going down. Okay? So they uh, hypothetically make some weak cell ischem binding structure. And then they check when they apply the electrical field to the to give compression force. What happened? This recovery of the IUDM to uniformity is enhanced. IUDM decrease means that uniformity is enhanced. Okay, so you can see this uniformity is more. We can see more like empty space. You can see it, but Generally, over time, there are more relatively uniformity, you can see. And then, when you look at the dense, uh, sparse area of these stages, 
definitely dense area can give more death rate. You can simply imagine when compression force are there, cells are more like stick together. They are more cluster. They are like more jamming. So they can give more dense area like this compared to sparse area. This dense area can give more death rate than sparse area. And then next, they mimic another injure injure stages using e cadherin knockout cell. As I showed before, e cadherin is very important for maintaining cell cell interaction firmly. So when they lose the e cadherin, what happens? Cell cell interaction disappear, and you can see more like this empty space between the cell. And then no field or tension field, their tissue integrity very low. But when you apply the compression force, what happens? Some of them have, have can give very high tissue integrity, almost one. So this is over time. When they apply the compression force, like this hour, they're more compressed. But after that, they remove this compression for electrical field. What happened? They come to have this empty space. They are reversed because they, are, they already don't have e cadherin but from the force by electrical field, they come to compact together without e cadherin but there is no electrical field. What happened? They can go back to their normal stage like this. Originally, knockout cell, e cadherin like this, on the compressed electrical field, close together, high integrity. When you turn off that electrical field, they can go back to normal. So this is they show how electrical field can change the stage stages of the epithelial cell. So as a bottom line, they show this schematic images for short time, like few hours. Originally, intact ecadrin and the minus positive, which is very already well known, positive below the epithelial layer under your skin, minus charge is your skin outside. But when you apply short time for A to B to induce tension force to the upper side, how happen? Cell shape change like this. Okay. But when they compress by electrical field, what happen? This original minus come to be double minus, plus come to be double plus, and then they can give more compression. And then short term, and this A to B, their charge is plus and minus, the original charge minus can react to the plus, so this upper side can be attractive to the upper, upper shoulder, upward, upward. And from long term period, this upper world can give more division as well as more layer, mound, like mountain. Okay? This is normal. When you compress more, what happens? You can see more death cell. And then cells are more differentiated. Without any cell proliferation, they come to be G0 zone stage. So, this is their finding. And then why you can imagine, you can ask, ask question how this paper is published in Nature Physics. So the thing is that they mimic this phenomenon by the then they they un try to understand this phenomenon by the physics, which means electrical field. So originally your cell, our skin is like this, okay, and then from for the development of the skin when you are young or when you are when you are on the developing stage, this electrical field can change the fate and direction of the cell. This is a very important finding. And then from this cell study and then electrochemistry, they combine all together to understand how the electrical field mediated stress can induce the epithelial cell layer fate and their proliferation stage. So let's look at 
together with extent figure. So when you measure the epithelial cell integrity, you can use two things. One is trans epithelial means upper and down potential difference. This is a really potential difference. And when you culture epithelial cell, more and more culture, more culture in period over time, you can see high TPD. TPD means there are more difference between down and upper side. Okay. And TER, TER is electrical resistance like resistance. How this epithelial layer, layer is contact to limit the diffusion of some ion or electrical electrons. So interestingly, the two days is maximum. Okay. So, but here, this paper they use TPD a lot for explaining their results. You can also ask when TPD is enhanced. Why TER is not going up or going down? Actually, they didn't mention at all about this one. But this is underlying remaining question for this project. Now, this is their yeah, chip. So here, they see the cell on the top. And then this is a hole for visualization. This is PHL. And this is chip. So they make this one like this. And then you can see the electrode here, bottom layer, and the upper layer also. This is electrode. Sorry, this is electrode. So upper, up bottom, you can give some electrical field, and you can also change it. So this is their like quantification. Early and late, when you when they stain by actin, what happened? So this you can see very different change. Actually, this one is over culturing without electrical field. Over culture, this from compared to early time point, late time point, you can see another intensity, and then this height also decrease. Why? When they are more packed. Yeah, they, the cell cell interaction is more severe, so this little like slope can go down, can be more flattened. Okay. So after finding this phenomenon, so they select like, for example, five or seven days for having fully controlled, fully controlled, uh, epithelial layer, and then. Here, this late stage, they apply the field from up to down or down to up. Sorry. And then, so this is intensity. You can see intensity is your decrease. When the force is upper, this intensity, it can the intensity decrease while they are coming back to normal or more enhanced here. Okay, so their aspect ratio of the cell, and the migration speed also also change, and then junction intensity also change like this. And they are also checking the actin fiber on the basal level, not the middle or upper. When they take the basal level coherency is how this actin is intermingling and the strength is actin fiber diameter plus the intensity so little change about the coherency and strength but they didn't focus that much of this actin they more focus of the ekaterin and the upper side chamber of actin not the basal line and the alludium yeah, over time, aludium is enhanced because they are more proliferating. But this aludium enhanced and division rate peak is not same between them. Here, yeah, they also check this uh, A to B upper side force by electrical field. They can give more cell layer, 
right? Because of because of higher proliferation. This one is also checked by fibronectin coated gel. But interestingly, fibronectin coated gel, they cannot see any difference between control and A to B. But still, B to A, but interestingly, B to A, they're more decreasing. Okay? So depending on cell and ECM binding force, this field effect can be a little different. Previously, collagen one, collagen one coated cell, same cell, control ATB, you can see difference. It might be control and B2A, no difference. But here, the opposite. Okay. So finally, when they check uh, epithelial spread area, how epithelial area spreading as you imagine b2a that can give compression force so they are more spreadable okay but here your cell this is a, when their cell are fully confluent but when cell have sparse together what happen even you can apply this electrical field they don't see any change of area okay so the very important thing is that originally the skin should have certain electrical field to be changed by excellent electrical field okay and then figure D figure E also you can see over time of electrical field to compression force this empty space can be dense okay and then when you release this compression force there are little bit come to be different way so this compression force electrical field can be dynamic depending on the on and off condition okay and here the supplementary when you visit there are many like formula and then you can get like as I said, young Laplace law mm, is very important for this phenomenon. Okay, so they can also give young Laplace law, and then how they prove this gel is really going down. They are using the beat. Slit means their original stage, and then minus and then one millimeter means below one millimeter. So slit. One millimeter change over time, you can see more bead intensity is increasing, which means that bead is a little bit going down, like this. Over time, they are going down, so they prove the bead is really going down by compression force. In another way, when they apply the another field direction, also this bead can go up. So this kind of bead composition, in bead visualization, they can quantify the gel deformation to upper side upper side or bottom side and then this is their combs com cell com cell simulation as I told you they predict the cell height change and then this change can be compared to their original height change so this kind of thing can be explained by the com cell simulation so, bare surface, fully component surface epithelium, when they have central hole like this, and they're far away hole. Here, this is media, and then central hole, edge hole, like this. Gel, epithelium, macrophilic, work. So, from this one, you can see when they confront epithelium, this electrical field is very conserved. But when you see hole, this in this hole center, they can give very high electrical field alone. Another one is very low electrical field is applied. And the edge, also edge is like not fully closed, so you can see very high epithelial field. But they majorly measure the when the cell are under comfort epithelium like this. And then 
This is how they measure the height of the cell, like original, their upper, and their tensioned upper field, like this. Height is, height is, height is higher, and the compression height is lower. Apical angle. Apical angle is that this angle, how they change. Actually, this A to B, they can show increase of angle, but compression and the B to A, they can show similar. And nucleus to membrane distance, also, when they apply A to B, little enhanced, then they are come to down. So, this end of this paper. So, let's look at this paper's abstract. And now, you can understand what is the meaning of the abstract. Sorry. Electrical effect in biological system from the work connection potential to studies on limb regeneration or wound healing commonly focus on transitory behavior and not on addressing the question of homeostasis. Here, we use a microfluidic device to study how the homeostasis of a confluent epithelial tissue is modified when a trans epithelial potential difference that is different from the natural one is imposed on an epithelial layer. Here, they want to focus on how homeostasis can be changed by their external electrical field because previously, skin wound healing or limb regeneration always they look at when the fully compressed layer is damaged how the electrical field can reverse or can make more regeneration they are asking the question previously but here they want to check when they have contact epithelial layer confluently and external electrical field how this field can affect this homeostasis of epithelial cell. When the field direction matches the natural one, like bottom, we can restore the perfect confluence in epithelial layer turned defective either by ecadrine knockout or by weakening the cell substrate adhesion. We saw that when electrical field is similarly applied to the down direction to give more compression, when they have Ecadrine knockout or weakening cell substrate binding by fibronectin coating that we can reverse their contact, right? And then less, less alludium, less proliferation stage. Additionally, the tissue pushes on the substrate with kilopascal stress, inducing active cell response such as death and differentiation. Meanwhile, so this compression force can give they can calculate as a kilopascal stress, inducing death the differentiation. When the field is opposite to the tension for of upward, the tissue pulls with similar strength, whereas homeostasis is destroyed by perturbation of a junctional actin. You know, junctional actin is losing, and the cell shape will be changed to like conical shape. Increase the division rate and formation of more mounds. Mounds mean packing of the cell. Most of these observations can be quantitatively explained by electrohydrodynamic theory involving local cytoplasmic electrosomotic flows. We expect this work to motivate further studies on the long-term long -term effects of electric and mechanical pathways with important tissue engineering application. Why they mention electroosmotic flow flow? Because they use young what they use. The formula name is important. Formula name is this one. Young Laplace law. As I mentioned, Young Laplace law originally made for explaining the capillary force measurement. So they consider their cell like cell as a certain capillary structure. And then when electrical field change, the water around the media and the cell inside, they are going up and going down by capillary force induced by electrical field. So that's why they mention like here, electroosmotic flows induced by electrical field. Okay, thank you.